Hello and welcome. Um, today I'm going to teach you, um, or rather I'm going to give you a summary of the entire chapter 6 coordinate geometry. Um, it's a long chapter, right? Uh, the straight line chapter in Form 4 Ad Math. And uh, you learn quite a number of formulas from this chapter. And uh, since it's quite a big chapter, a lot of students, when they're halfway through it, or by the end of it, they would have forgotten the, uh, the, the, the things that they learned in the beginning of the chapter. Okay, so I'm going to go through an entire summary so you have a very clear big picture of what you have learned for the entire chapter. Then we will do some questions, all right? So um, the first thing that you learned in this chapter are a few formulas that you have learned in Form 3 or PMR Math. Yeah, You learn distance. The first thing that you learned is distance between two points. Okay, distance between two points means this. Um, say you have point A here and you have point B here and you are given the coordinates of point A and you're given the coordinates of point B. So we say this is x1, y1 and this is x2 and y2. Okay, so how do you find the distance? This formula is given um, in Form 3 and also right now it's given. It's a square root of x square, uh, x2 minus x1 plus y2 minus y1 square. Alright, that is the uh, formula for distance between two points. And um, the next thing that you learn, so this is the first one. So the next thing that you learn would be looking for the coordinates of the midpoint. A point that divides two points or divides the line into half. So we call this the midpoint. Alright, and do remember this because um, a lot of questions require you to use um, midpoint formula or distance. Uh, um, don't, and the question can be long question in paper 2, yeah? So this is midpoint, uh, say it's Q. So to find midpoint, again, it is something that you have learned last time when you were in Form 3. Midpoint is the X coordinate plus the X coordinate divided by 2. The y plus the y divided by 2. You divide it by 2 because it's half. It's right in the middle. Okay, that's a simple one. Now, something new that you learn only in Form 4 at Math. You don't even have this in Mod Math, yeah? Something new is this. What if you have a straight line and uh, say it is point A and say it is point B and you have the point Q that divides the line AB in the ratio of 3 to 2. So that means AQ is three parts and QB is two parts. Yeah, remember your ratio, form two ratio. Yeah, so AQ is three parts and QB is two parts. That means the entire line AB is divided into five parts. Okay, and of course they will give you, say in A they give you uh, 2, 3 and in B they give this is 5 and 4. Okay, let's say. Alright, so find the coordinates of Q which divides the line segment AB in the ratio of 3 to 2. Okay, so this is the MN formula. And uh, again, the formula is given. What I'd normally like to teach students, the um, a, a good way to do is this. Um, don't memorize the formula or don't, don't, don't do, do based on the formula. Draw out the line and you can straight away count the uh, coordinates of point Q. And how do you do that? The technique is this. Remember, you have to do them crisscross. Alright, so that means, right, to find the coordinates of Q, that's the X coordinate, yeah, of point Q, to find the X coordinate of point Q, you take the X coordinate of B and A. But before that, you have to multiply them crisscross. So that means you multiply 5 and 3. Okay, so that's 3 times 5, and then you add with the other x coordinate, which is 2, right? Multiply with the 2. Cross multiplication over the total of how many parts has the line been divided into? The, part, the line AB has been divided into 5 parts, so a total of 5 parts. That's the x coordinate. And now repeat the same thing. You're supposed to do it with the y now. So the y coordinate is 4 and 3. Before you add them up, you have to multiply, cross multiply. So 4 multiply with 3, yeah, right across. So that's 3 times 4 plus 2 times with the y coordinate, which is 3, divided by 5. Okay, so now if you use your calculator, you will get the coordinates for point Q. 
So this is the MN formula, you know, in the ratio of M and N, right? The formula will give you M and N. But normally, if you can sketch it out, remember crisscross multiplication, the logic is the X will have to add with the X. But before that, you have to multiply crisscross first. Yeah, then you will get your X coordinate and your Y coordinate. Okay? Right, but of, of course, if you're more comfortable memorizing or looking at the formula, then of course you can do that. Okay, that's um, the third thing. Uh, that you learned in chapter 6. Okay, uh, let's move on. It's, uh, it's, we're just beginning, we're just at the beginning <laughs> of chapter 6, you know. Number 4, huh? the fourth thing that you learned would be to find area of a polygon given the coordinates. Yeah, if you're given the coordinates. So again, if you have a polygon, say a point Okay, it's an irregular polygon. It doesn't matter. doesn't matter, yeah? If you have A, B, C, D. Okay, so you've give, you're given four points in a polygon and you are required to find now to find the area of this polygon of which you cannot use formula because it's irregular. But you are given the coordinate. So the formula that you're going to use is this. 1 over 2 with the modulus. 1 over 2 with the modulus. So it's X plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus 10 plus 11 plus 12 plus 13 plus 14 plus 15 plus 16 plus 17 plus 18 plus 19 plus 20 plus 21 plus 22 plus 23 plus 24 plus 25 plus 26 plus 27 plus 28 plus 29 plus 30 plus 31 plus 32 plus 33 plus 34 plus 35 plus 36 plus 37 plus 38 plus 39 plus 40 plus 41 plus 42 plus 43 plus 44 plus 45 plus 46 plus 47 plus 48 plus 49 plus 50 plus 51 plus 52 plus 53 plus 54 plus 55 plus 56 plus 57 plus 58 plus 59 plus 60 plus 61 plus 62 plus 63 plus 64 plus 65 plus 66 plus 67 plus 68 plus 69 plus 70 plus 71 plus 72 plus 73 plus 74 plus 75 plus 76 plus 77 plus 78 plus 79 plus 80 plus 81 plus 82 plus 83 plus 84 plus 85 plus 86 plus 87 plus 88 plus 89 plus 90 plus 91 plus 92 plus 93 plus 94 plus 95 plus 96 plus 97 plus 98 plus 99 plus 100 plus 101 plus 102 plus 103 plus 104 plus 105 plus 106 plus 107 plus 108 plus 109 plus 110 plus 111 plus 112 plus 113 plus 114 plus 115 plus 116 plus 117 plus 118 plus 119 plus 120 plus 121 plus 122 plus 123 plus 124 plus 125 plus 126 plus 127 plus 128 plus 129 plus 130 plus 131 plus 132 plus 133 plus 134 plus 135 plus 136 plus 137 plus 138 plus 139 plus 140 plus 141 plus 142 plus 143 plus 144 plus 145 plus 146 plus 147 plus 148 plus 149 plus 150 plus 161 plus 162 plus 163 plus 164 plus 165 plus 166 plus 167 plus 168 plus 169 plus 170 plus 171 plus 172 plus 173 plus 174 plus 175 plus 176 plus 177 plus 178 plus 179 plus 180 plus 181 plus 182 plus 183 plus 184 plus 185 plus 186 plus 187 plus 188 plus 189 plus 190 plus 191 plus 192 plus 193 plus 194 plus 195 plus 196 plus 197 plus 198 plus 199 plus 200 plus 201 plus 202 plus 203 plus 204 plus 205 plus 206 plus 207 plus 208 plus 209 plus 210 plus 211 plus 212 plus 213 plus 214 plus 215 plus 216 plus 217 plus 218 plus 219 plus 220 plus 221 plus 222 plus 223 plus 224 plus 225 plus 226 plus 227 plus 228 plus 229 plus 230 plus 231 plus 232 plus 233 plus 234 plus 235 plus 236 plus 237 plus 238 plus 239 plus 240 plus 241 plus 242 plus 243 plus 244 plus 245 plus 246 plus 247 plus 248 plus 249 plus 250 plus 251 plus 252 plus 253 plus 254 plus 255 plus 256 plus 257 plus 258 plus 259 plus 260 plus 270 plus 271 plus 272 plus 273 plus 274 plus 275 plus 276 plus 277 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 